What is up guys, it is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and today I am bringing you my WWE Hell in a Cell 2021 predictions video. This isn't a big card right now and as always I am filming this before the go home Smackdown so any matches that get added I will be putting down in the description and I know a lot of people don't check there so I'll put them in the comments section down below as well as my predictions for said matches. But without further ado, let's get right into the first match on the Hell in a Cell card. Let's go. So kicking off the show, guys, we have Alexa Bliss versus Shayna Baszler. Now, recently, these two have been feuding on Raw, and it's mainly been Shayna feuding with Lily, Alexa's haunted doll, and paranormal things have been going on with Shayna. It's all been very, uh, a bit weird, but anyway, this match is taking place. I'm not that interested, but whatever happens, I think Alexa Bliss is definitely going to win. Next up, we have the SmackDown Women's Championship being defended. Once again, Bianca Belair defending her title against Bayley. Now, this is another example. This whole card, I'm not really that interested in. But this is another example of just a rematch that we've seen before. I think the result is going to be the same. It's going to be Bianca Belair walking out with the SmackDown Women's Championship. Up next, we have the Raw Women's Championship match. Rhea Ripley taking on Charlotte Flair one-on-one. -on -one. And unfortunately for Rhea Ripley, I think the Raw Women's Championship is going to change hands here at Hell in a Cell. I don't see any titles changing hands other than this one right here. So I think if they're going to do something big, they need to do it. And Charlotte Flair being the Raw Women's Champion is something that I see happening. Obviously, Raw ratings have been low recently, and I think it might reflect badly on Rhea Ripley. Uh, obviously, her being the current uh, Raw Women's Champion. I know it's not on her, but I think, you know, that's just how management in WWE think. And obviously, Charlotte was screwed out of her WrestleMania match. She was meant to be competing for the title at Mania. That didn't happen. I think now's the time where Charlotte Flair is going to take the Raw Women's Championship from Rhea Ripley. Next up, we have the Universal Championship match. Roman Reigns defending the Universal title against Rey Mysterio. Now, I genuinely have no idea where this is going to place on the card, but for the purpose of this video, I'll put this first and then the WWE Championship to main event. Now, this all started because the Usos were trying to get the tag straps off of Dominic and Rey Mysterio, but Reigns got involved and attacked Rey and Dominic, basically powerbombing Dominic out the ring. It looked nasty. Uh, and now Rey Mysterio challenged Reigns for the Universal Championship at Hell in a Cell. Reigns accepted, and here we are. Now, genuinely, Rey's not winning. There's no chance in hell that Rey Mysterio is beating Roman Reigns for the Universal Championship. If he does, I will be beyond shocked. But people are also saying that maybe what if Dominic turns on Rey? Personally, I don't see it happening. I think this is just going to be a really good match. I know a lot of people would have rather have seen Jimmy Uso taking on Roman Reigns. Obviously, Jay took him on last year in Hell in a Cell. Jimmy this year, it would have been quite poetic, but that's not the direction that WWE wanted to go in. And realistically, Rey Mysterio versus Roman Reigns, it should be a pretty good match. You know, if Reigns uh, doesn't, you know, squash Rey and get on him the whole time, if Rey can move about and get some momentum, it should be really good. But yeah, once again, Roman Reigns to retain the Universal Championship. And now it's time for the main event of the show. The WWE Championship being defended. Bobby Lashley versus Drew McIntyre for the title. Now, I don't really see Drew winning here, but I also see something big taking place. Now, a lot of people have been speculating, is something big going to happen? I think so, you know. I genuinely do. Will it be Brock Lesnar returning? That's what we're all hoping for. But I do just don't know. Whatever happens, I want to make sure that this match has a decisive winner. If Brock does return, which is a wild prediction, but let's just say it does happen, make sure it's after the match has already taken place. We don't want a Braun Roman situation where a Hell in a Cell ends in a no contest. But either way, whatever happens, I have Bobby Lashley retaining the WWE Championship. And if you guys want to see me fantasy book of Bobby Lashley and Brock Lesnar feud for the WWE title, make sure you stick around because tomorrow I have a fantasy booking Bobby versus Brock video going up on the Joe Talks Wrestling YouTube channel. But there you go. That was my predictions. 
I do hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments section down below your predictions for Hell in a Cell. It's obviously this Sunday coming from the WWE Thunderdome. And right now, I believe it's actually scheduled to be the last pay-per-view in the Thunderdome. So it's going to be historic. It's going to be crazy. Hell in a Cell is always a wild one. But I've been Joe from Joe Tots Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Please be sure to give this video a like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you for Hell in a Cell reactions on Sunday. Goodbye.